So if I am is the currency or is currency, what is the man-made alternative to that? Did you hear my question? What is the man-made alternative to I am? Not just man-made like dollars or we mine copper and make pennies or mine, you know, diamonds or gold and say those have value because all of that is man-made, right? Even if there's, even if there are uh, substances found in the earth, we still manufacture something out of them and say, this is that, this has now this value and man assigns value to it. But what is the man-made alternative to I am as currency? We've learned to believe that you and I, that we are subject to the world. We're subject to circumstances, to situations that occur, subject to even the spirit world around us, right? That we're affected and influenced by that. <clears throat> but I'd like to submit to you guys that none of that's true that none of it's true unless we allow it. Because if you and I are, I am in this world, if you and I like Christ are the living expression of father, then you and I are, you and I are the expression of the currency of I am. So what does that look like? Because we've been told, we've been trained, and can I use this word? We can e we've even been manipulated into believing a framework that is not father, nor a framework he created. Even when our currency of exchange is our perception of truth, it still comes from a perception not I am. It's still a perception, not I am. Just like Adam and Eve, they had a perception of truth because they believed it was true. They believed Father was withholding from them, so they saw it as truth. And when they saw that belief as truth, what happened? It framed their experience with Father. If they were truly made in his image, according to his likeness, then they could do what they wanted when they wanted to do it. Their perception got them out of sync with father because the choice came from a position or a place where they separated themselves and then decided this is reality. They didn't make the decision from the place of oneness. What I've just described is mammon. 